editing. All right, so here we are looking at a McDonnell Miller Unimatch that is behaving badly. So the power is off, uh, the green light is off, there's no, this is the manual fill, and we've got no water going to it because here's what's happening. I'm going to open up the upstream valve, and you can hear water going in, so that's telling me that the solenoid is stuck open. So how do we work on this thing? So the first thing I do is we're going to pull these electrical tabs off here. There we are. And then we got to get this and we got to get this out of here. This is the manual switch. Make sure we don't lose this little Jasper. And we take the manual switch off like so and now we gotta get this board off ah that's right we have to get the solenoid off first there's a screw all the way back in there it's a phillips head and you gotta get it you gotta you can't use a four-way on this you gotta use a a phillips although this is not really a phillips this is really I got a no, no, this is no, this is actually better than a Phillips. Oh, uh, oh you got it. Yeah, so we got that little bad boy. Make sure we don't drop all the little screws and thingamajigs right there. So we take that and put that up there. And now we can take the electric board off. Now I find that if you get one of these little guys, uh -huh. you are able to push the little tabs oh. out. Isn't that cool? Isn't that clever? That is. Yeah. It's been many happy hours taking these things apart on my healing bench at home. And now we got to make sure... Ah, that's right. we got to bend the LED out of the way there. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. Almost forgot you. And we got this one last tab. we got three of these little plastic tabules. And... Now we've got the board free. Let me carefully work it out of our way and let it just hang off to the side. And now we've got the frame. And that exposes two more screws. And we want to make sure that the there's no water because the customer is watching. And it's really embarrassing if you open these things up under full pressure. Oh, I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> or you didn't do it again. Oh, I'm going to try not to do it again. So we're going to take this other screw out. It's a Phillips head. Um, I kind of like, I'm starting to use these because these are not Phillips. These are, it looks like Phillips, uh -huh. but it's not. It's Japan Industrial Standard. It grips tighter than a normal Phillips. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So now this comes off. I have a love-hate relationship with Phillips. So I yeah, have, the Phillips always too small. Oh yes, yeah. So yeah the, and you want to, you want to. Yeah, the right you size. need it. You got. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Huh. All right, now, do you have a little cup or something? Just a little. Pla I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. A little, little plastic cup, little container. Bless your heart. There we go. So now we've exposed the cap. Ah, excellent. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So then we're going to break the seal. And that is our little spring of the thing of love. You want to make sure you do not lose that. And that looks pretty good there. So let's put it in here for now. Excellent. And now... Let's take a look. Oh, that's right. We got to do this diaphragm business here. There's our diaphragm. You've probably seen, if you've looked at a couple of other my videos, you'll see this thing here. This is probably the first one I've done out in the field. There's only a couple I've done out in the field. So there we go. You see, we got a little bit of calcium buildup there. So I'll let that drain. So we're going to go ahead and probably replace that okay and yeah there we go that's fine and 
what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up with a little vinegar and, okay. and, and scouring stuff. Not right now. And then this kit is for a different manufacturer's valve. Uh-huh. But I have found that this should work in here. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um and then yeah it it's it's different manufacturer but they they've manufactured the good tolerances yeah. so this should work. You need the vinegar. And get a little vinegar and we'll clean that up and we'll Q put tips. this back together again. What Q tips? Let me turn. Actually, hang on. Let me turn this thing off. <laughs> 